Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your weekly reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and we will be looking at the weekly messages for you. So before I start, um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you wanted to become a channel member, you can do so via the join button on the homepage of my channel and that's going to give you access to member only content and extended videos and all those extra bits so um, feel free to sign up and of course if you're after a private reading please reach out to me directly I've got my email um, floating around my page somewhere <clears throat> let's get straight into it Pisces and see what's coming up for the week Okay, Knight of Crystals. So, uh, Knight of Pentacles essentially coming up here. <clears throat> okay, things could be a bit of a standstill right now, I feel. Um, I'm getting like baby steps towards a situation or very, very slow progress. Uh, particularly if you're dealing with an Earth sign. Okay, you've got the High Priestess and the Empress. Okay, two very powerful energies. This is someone who's very attracted to you that's coming forward. Okay, I'm getting someone is fearful of letting you know how they really feel about you i feel like this is a very powerful attraction it could be from a earth or fire sign uh and literally you are all they can think about i feel like there's a crush or there's a romance that's developing and it's it's happening from some sort of flirtation now it could be a work thing uh, and I feel like, Pisces, you always knew there was something between you and this person. The High Priestess is telling me you always had some sort of um, intuition about this person. And I think you're right. I think you're spot on. They're not coming forward, though, as of now. I feel like with the Knight of Crystals, you know, they're, they're acting very slowly because they're cautious. To be honest, I feel like um, we've got a super moon behind him. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it makes me feel like this person has maybe recently ended things with a different connection or they've had some stuff going on um, and emotionally they're not in the best space to start anything like serious I don't think this I, I think this person is a serious person and they are after a long-term commitment I just think right now they're probably not as ready as they'd, they'd like to be and that could explain why they're sort of um taking things super slow um, you know beating around the bush you've sort of been doing this bit of like cat and mouse game with them and I feel like you have to give them more time. I think you know something's up with this person, Pisces. Like if you guys chat or you can just feel it in their energy that they've got like other stuff going on. So um, I don't think it's anything relationship wise. I think it falls outside of that, to be honest. Uh, but I feel like, I mean, it could be with something to do with a child or their children, like custody. But look, I feel like um, the High Priestess and the Empress, they're double pregnancy. So I don't know if some of you are getting twins this is maybe in a different connection. This person may have twins or multiple children, uh, or it's telling me that this is someone you could end up having more kids with. Um, for some of you, you're deeper in this connection already, so you're not, this isn't as new. But I feel like with the Empress, something about your relationship status is going to change, but it's growth, so it's movement forward. But baby steps, like slow and steady wins the race. Okay, King of Cups, this is you, this is your energy. Pisces, you're falling in love. You're holding two cups here. You are involved somehow, because you're touching these cups, you're involved in a twin flame connection here, whether you're aware of it or not. Okay, so twin flame vibe, you're connected to this person. Could be a water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or if some of you are single, I'm getting that you are, intuition is telling you you're about to meet a twin flame soulmate. Okay, you've got the Ten of Cups. This is really powerful. Okay, this person is worth slowing down for, I feel. Um, some of you might want to slow down for your own reasons, but Pisces, what I'm getting is that's going to be worth it because... 
this can be a very rewarding connection and I see you falling in love. I see you being very happy with this person or this connection. I feel like it might even be the happiest you've ever been. Like that's a huge statement, I know, but it could just be that you are super, super happy to be with this person. You're in love. They tick a lot of boxes. Ten of Cups, more children, the happy family home. There's a lot happening around the home and relationships and children, I feel, this week. That's coming up very strongly here. A lot of you could be meeting this person's children for the first time. Um, and a lot of you, I feel like, have waited a long time for that next step. Um, for others, it's like discussing children. Like, do do you want kids? Do you want more kids? Um, you know, like, and these are pretty intimate stuff. It, intimate conversations is, is what I'm getting here. Like, I see them opening up to you. I really do. They're, they'll be ready to do that. But patience, okay? I keep getting patience. It'll all come to you when it's supposed to. But I feel like you're already connected to this person. I'm getting a lot of you already know or you've flirted or you've spoken to this person about, about more intimate stuff in your life. Okay, I'm getting twins and triplets that are coming up. I don't know why. I don't think it's like a third party situation. I think it's more to do with like children and family, like, or being a trio. Like you might be meeting your person's son or daughter and it's the three of you that hang out type thing. Um, for those of you that don't have this, I feel like there's someone here who wants, you in who wants to introduce you to their mother. Like they've been talking you up. Um, and I feel like them introducing you to their mother, it's a really, really special relationship. And for them, that's huge. That's almost saying, I want to bring this person home. Like, I want this person to be a part of the family he Pisces. So um, I'm not surprised. I feel like there is someone in love with you. I do. The King of Cups, there is a lot of love between the both of you. Um, and I feel like that's going to solidify a lot for you between between you and this person. There could also be someone here saying they want to slow down. Now, it's not a bad thing. It's probably like they're getting overwhelmed by all the emotions that they're feeling for you. So don't freak out. It's not a bad thing. They're still very much invested. There is love that exists. But the Empress is just like, just enjoy it. Don't put, don't put too much pressure on it. Don't expect these massive things. Deep down, like subconsciously, I think this person is thinking about them. But take your time with this connection. Like enjoy every stage. Take it in because it's it's such a beautiful journey that you're on or that you're about to be on. You have no idea what's coming. It's really, really special. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, or become a member if you'd like. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. So thanks again, Pisces, and bye for now.